Ну да, хули нет. Да, хули нет, если да. Так. Так. Well, hello anyway. Hello, hello. This time I'm going to create another simple puzzle game, which is about a door and a set of numbers, uh, a set of buttons. So to open this door, I will have to click those buttons, which will be colored in different colors. So uh, to open this door, I will be in need to click those buttons in a certain with a certain hello hello with a certain sequence so let's begin i select all of my sprites and put them into my into my project why only arrow ah there we go First of all, I need to slice this button sprite. So I select this button sprite and make it multiple, hit apply, sprite mode to multiple and hit apply. Now I go to sprite editor and I need to slice this sprite into two. Здорово, Данил! I have to slice this, this sprite to two different pictures so hit slice type automatic is okay and hit slice there we go now i have two slices i have to edit it a bit so they have equal mm, height there we go and hit apply hello hello everyone Hit apply and I can close this window. Now I, now I have two button sprites. Okay, the next step is to fill our hierarchy with game objects. First one will be doorway. There it is. And I put an arrow also here. Doorway has ordinal error set to zero and arrow will be one. So it's rendered in front of the doorway. This arrow will will allow us to proceed to the next level. To make it possible, I have to add a box collider to it, so this arrow will detect mouse clicks. Set it as a trigger. And of course, yeah, I'm doing well, thank you very much, hi Mark. And of course, this uh, arrow needs a script, so I create one and name it as arrow and open it in Visual Studio and here we'll be using only one method which is on uh, on mouse down and here uh, when this arrow is clicked I'm going just to uh, reload this current scene just to make it clear that it works in the end. So to do that, I need to use Unity Unity Engine Scene Management Library. And here, uh, Scene Manager, Load Scene, Get Scene. Yes, now uh, what the load scene? What am I doing? Scene against against scene manager. Scene. Scene manager. There we go. 
get active scene and get build index. So the current scene will be reloaded when I click though that arrow button. Да, про добавление звука будет обязательно. Но не в этот раз. Просто я хочу каждый стрим делать как можно проще, иначе они разрастутся до каких-то невероятных размеров. Поэтому, но звук будет. Звук будет обязательно. Окей. Okay. Next step is to add this arrow. Ripped to arrow. And it should work. Okay, the next step is to create a button. I create new UI button. There it is. Here is our canvas and here is our button. I don't need the text component. And I anchor this button at the center. Now, hello, clickbait, no white hat. I'm going to get one, I promise. So, okay, now I have to tune this button a bit. I will be using this sprite as default sprite, and to fix that shrinked button, I click reserve aspect option here. There it is. Here is our button. And now... Yeah, iconic head. And now, when this button will be clicked, I want to switch button sprite. So I hit here transition. Instead of color tint, I set sprite swap. And here, in pressed sprite, I drag and drop this second sprite and now when button is clicked it should switch its sprite yes it works pretty fine okay maybe i should make this button a bit bigger and also as you can see this button have a certain mm, size but if i hit play on maximize on play mode it becomes a bit smaller there it is it is it is happening because canvas uh, where it is ua scale mode we i have to set it instead of constant pixel size to scale with screen size and now this button will remain its its size I'm trying to turn my character with the mobile buttons, but I can't. I have such of tutorials on my channel, so you can check them out. And I'm pretty sure you will find an answer. Okay. I think this button is a bit too small, so I make it a bit bigger. I think 75 by 75 is okay. Okay. Now, I have to have uh, about 7... Uh, buttons so I duplicate this one no it's too early uh, when this button will be clicked we will be using a uh, event trigger so I add a component which is event trigger so when when this button when this button will be clicked this event trigger fires up and will send some information to the door actually and this information will contain uh, a color of this button to make it happen i have to create button script so i create new script and name it for example button color button colors and open it in visual studio
This script is pretty simple one. So here we will be using my favorite mm, feature of C sharp, which is which is event. To be able to use it, I have to use system library and create new public static event which is action which will be named send color value send color value so when button is clicked this event will fire up and send button color information to the door a door will be subscribed to this event and will be able to receive this information so it, there we go also this button will have uh, a method which will be invoked when this uh, event takes place it will be public I mean this method will be invoked when I click the button and it will be tied with this button click using that uh, event trigger so public win to button button click And here I send this color value. I invoke this event, send color value. And by doing that, I send uh, a button name. But before, before I do this, I have to remain, rename my button to something like Let's say this first button will be button red. And yes, button red. And after that, no, red button. Yes, and when this method will be invoked, I will get this red part of the button's name. To do that, type name sub string from the first character in the button's name to the position of the divider, which is underscore symbol index of. Index of, index of is underscore symbol. Why is it underlined? Symbol name. Ah, because I forgot to put string. here so when this method is invoked this action fires up and send buttons name to the world so by using this line we get this red uh, red uh, uh, word and this red word will be sent to the door so door will get to know that red button is clicked. Стримы остаются и не удаляются. Все останется и более того, в конце будет ссылка на этот на этот проект. О, Федор. Hello Федор. 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 Привет, Федор. Окей. So button first button is ready and i have to put this button script button color script to the button 
And now, as I see, I have to tune this event trigger component. So here it is. I click add new event type and select pointer down. So this event will take place when I hit the button. Спасибо, спасибо, Nadir. Спасибо. So, when this here it is, and I have to add new action to this event, so I hit this little plus, drag and drop this red button into the slot, and select uh, button clicked script, uh, button clicked method from this button color script. So now, when button is clicked, that method will be invoked. And now, I can duplicate this button, I think, seven times, since I have seven colors, and rename these buttons to... This one will be yellow. Maybe I should remove this as well. Red, yellow orange this one will be green uh, this one will be blue this one will be indigo And the last one will be, which one I didn't use yet, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, indigo. Ah, violet, yeah. Violet one. Okay. Okay, let's take all of these buttons and them right here for now and add a door add door game object to our to our project so i take door and put it right here it is rendered behind the doorway and behind the arrow so i have to change this ordinal layer to say three and now it's rendered in front of the other game objects and put it about here there we go as you can see we have seven colors and actually this is a correct combination to open the door from top to the bottom so and now i need to first uh, rearrange my buttons spread them around the scene so I take red one, put it about here, yellow one goes here, orange let it be here, green will be here, blue goes here and indigo goes right here. Hello! Okay good for me so now i go back to my door and now i have to change my mm, the colors of my of my buttons the simple way to do it is to select a button this one is red and here in this color option we have a little pipette so i can take it and select any color on the screen actually even on the other monitor which you can see now so since this button is red i select this red color on the door and it turns red pretty simple and convenient way to change uh, game objects tint next button is yellow i select pipette and select yellow color very good next one is orange pet orange 
next one is green pipette green next one is blue i guess it's blue indigo which one is indigo this one and violet where is it here it is okay actually buttons are ready and the final step is to create is to create a script for the door which will control the whole scene actually so i create new c sharp script and name it door and open it up in visual studio this script is kind of simple actually first of all i need a reference to my Wait a second. Извиняюсь за нелепый вопрос. А вам доводилось изучать систему Soft Body 2D? Сколько искал в нашем канале не смог найти? Если честно, я даже первый раз вообще об этой системе слышу. Но я обязательно посмотрю. Поэтому, поэтому ничего сейчас сказать не могу, честно. Но нелепых вопросов не бывает. Так, спасибо за вопрос. А, я понял, жили. Да, я примерно понял, что это такое. Нет, я не интересовался даже ни разу. Ну, кстати, может быть, теперь посмотрю. Спасибо. Окей, okay, let's move on. I need a reference to the error, 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 game object to turn it on and off at the beginning and when the door is open so serialize field attribute will help me to do it will help me to assign this arrow in the inspector so it will be private with a uh, private game object which is arrow save the script and don't forget to add this door script to door game object alexander and as you can see now i can assign this arrow to inspector in the inspector so door will have some control on this arrow game object and in start method i set this arrow to an active state so we disable in the beginning there we go and also i need a couple of variables which will be string with uh, and these variables will contain correct sequence and sequence which are being which is being entered at the moment so private string uh, one one of this variable is correct sequence sequence there we go and the second one is current sequence current sequence there we go And as I said, when I was creating button color, to be able to receive that information, this information which button is sending when it's clicked, the door script should be assigned to this event, which is send color value. To do that, to do that, I type the following button color button color send color value and here i have to put uh, a method which will be invoked when this information is received by the door this method isn't created yet but it will be named as add value 
and check sequence sequence there it is this this method will be created right in a moment but first i said to i have to set the correct sequence value correct so correct sequence will be very 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 difficult and very hard to figure out one which is one two three four five six seven you will never guess it it can't be figured out at all and i have to set current sequence to empty string there it is hi hi yakut developer so and now ah, one important thing by the way if some script is uh, uh, subscribed to some event it should be unsubscribed to avoid some issues mm, so one of the way to do it is to do it in on destroy method so on destroy method and the syntax is pretty the same here we go so here is where we assign uh, where we subscribe to this event and here is where we unsubscribe from that event now it's time to create this add value and check sequence method it will be private with i can just copy and paste it right here this method will uh you will be using that information which is which is sent by this send color value so as you can see it is a string so i have to type string here and name this variable as button color so when this button color is received we have to manipulate somehow with it we have to process it simply saying we have to add this value add this value and check the sequence if it's correct to add a value i will be using switch operator and here we will have several cases one of it oops so case i said case ah sorry so case one is when color is red Great. so when color is red then uh, i think i should put ah let me see what i should put here so when color is red it means that this color is fifth if i count it from top to the bottom bottom so one two three four five yes so i will be adding a number five to the sequence so if color is red i add so current sequence plus equal five and now i can duplicate this case how many times one two three four five six seven yes the next you know what let's do it a bit easier to understand if the color is which one it is it is indigo is i suppose so if color is indigo then we add one 
our sequence. If the color is green, green, then we add number two. If color is orange, then we add number three. If color is blue, we add number four. Then if color is red, it's five. And if color is yellow, it will be six. Так что игра будет. Игра про то, что нужно нажать кнопки в определенном порядке, чтобы открылась дверь. Yellow is six. So here is yellow. And the last one is uh, violet, and it will be seven. So it's seven, and here is violet. Uh, oh, it's not red, it's blue. I forgot to change this string uh, blue. Why it's on the line? Because we have another red. And of course, I forgot something. It's gotta be orange. Orange. There we go. Okay. When a current sequence gets some values, we have to check if it's correct or not. Am I missed or previously you say from top to bottom? Yes, from top to bottom. From top to bottom. Why not to top? From the bottom to top? What do you mean? Mm. So you want to ask me why we're we going from top to bottom, not from bottom to top. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, well, you're thinking we'll know on. Okay. When this uh, current sequence, your current series from bottom to top, but before you say from top to bottom, maybe I, maybe I did, but I, rem I don't remember actually. Anyways, we go from top to the bottom. So the correct sequence will be blue, um, green, orange, it's not blue, indigo, Green, orange, blue, red, yellow. What is it? Violet. Yes. So we have to um, go like this. So hmm. let me start it. Destroy the all buttons work. So the sequence will be blue, green, orange. It's not blue, Sasha. It's indigo, so indigo, green, top to bottom, bottom to top, <laughs> from the top to the bottom, I mean it. So, the sequence, indigo, green, orange, blue, red, yellow, violet. And of course, door is not opening yet because we haven't finished our script. So, when current sequence have some values, we have to check if the sequence is correct or if it's not correct. So, if if current sequence current sequence is not equal to correct correct sequence uh, sub string i'll explain this line in a moment let me just finish it 
substring substring zero to sequence length so if this condition is met ah i said that i uh, explained this in, okay now let me open up okay, what the no not work bad paint my favorite editor so let's say that this is our correct sequence one two three four five six seven and let's say that we entered uh one two three no not one two three hey let's say with we entered one two five for example so what do we do here in this so we take this current sequence which is one two five in this case and uh, compare it to the substring from our correct sequence from the first element in this line which is which has index equals to zero to the mm, to the third character in this line which is which equals uh, the length of our current sequence if you understand what i mean so in this case we compare this line with this part of our correct sequence if i uh, enter more numbers here so this line will will be compared with this amount of uh, characters in the correct in the correct sequence i think it's i hope it's clear so in the case if if this doesn't uh, equal to this is if it's not equal to this in this case i just um, reset my current my current sequence and i have to do it again and else if else if and else if current sequence equals to correct sequence then i set arrow to active state why we need this way which way what do we mean set active set active true reset current sequence it's a good practice to reset everything when with length we need it with length because when for example we enter just one symbol anyways we have to compare it to to the correct sequence so when for example i entered only one only one digit into the current sequence i have to compare this digit to the first digit in the current uh, in the correct sequence so this substring line takes uh takes a line which i have to compare to 
the current sequence from the first uh, first character in the correct line to the length of the current sequence which is one in this in this moment in this case so only this will be compared to this and as i said before if i enter for example another character here into the current sequence this will be compared i don't know how to explain this in the other way i i hope it's clear got it thanks okay so let's move on so uh I wanted to reset this current sequence because it's a good practice to reset everything when when we don't need this anymore to avoid some possible issues so and destroy game object so I destroy a door which means that we can proceed to the uh, the next level game object game what game object there we go and actually this is pretty it and i think i can check it out so we can click any button but as i said we need to enter the correct sequence so which is indigo green orange blue uh, red yellow violet yes everything's work work pretty well and if i click uh, this green arrow yes the scene is reloaded so no matter how long i am clicking this uh, buttons if I start to enter correct sequence the door should open yes it's opening we're doing pretty great job my friends so feels amazing when scripts works at first try yeah absolutely right absolutely so guys we did it thank you for being with me thanks for coming and as i said this project will be available by the link in the description and this stream will be available on my channel as well but i guess in hour or two because youtube need to youtube needs to process it in its way so Thank you for coming, really hope to see you next time, take care, goodbye, goodbye.